Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cintian, and I am back with another episode of Fatal Frame 5. Um, let's go up this way. Last time we were... Wait. Let's explore all downstairs first. We were exploring K. Watarai's house. And what? This room is flooded. Why is this only this room flooded? Uh, there was a fur, uh, old notebook laying on the shelf that's written in very elegant handwriting. There is a particular custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before selling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable, palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the gray and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered. But why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home. Does the mountain agree with you making it, making it, it your home? Ooh, type 90. Back door shut real quick. Oh, a household altar has been enshrined at the top of the wall. The wood in this room is has blackened and gives off an odd smell. Hmm. Well, another. Nope. Fine, shut up. Why are you calling me in this dead house? This guy hasn't paid his his bills in forever. Dui. Sakaki san, desu ka? Kore wa sensei no miteita shashin to onaji. Sakaki. It's exactly the same as the picture from the photo album. Did Kazuya come here because of it too? Shisha. <laughs> Okay, we remote, we controller. Don't 
do things very well. Don't help me at all, because I don't need any help. Hush it. Dude. Oh, I'm going upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. Ah! Yes, flail at me. You're wasting my film, jerk. Touch him! Touch him! You didn't touch him, you jerk! Wait, what? Yeah, that's the right way to go. Well, I'm gonna go in this room and get some items because I desperately need them. <sighs> I desperately need film is what I need. Uh, this stuff I don't need, guys. Where did Dewey go? Dewey, where did you go? Since it's saying this is the right way. And now you're here. Where were you when I needed you, like... Five minutes ago. Gonna go up this way, see if there's anything up this way. Yeah, okay. I'll go look. Ah, I'm stuck. Maps? Yay! Oh shit. Oh shit, why didn't I use the other film? This is why you waste all my film. Old texts are scattered on the desk. They're all damaged. I can't make out any of the writings. Uh, camera accessories. Writing implements. I don't know. Oh, there is a closet in here that I didn't open. Oh. It's like, well, okay. A little confused, but okay. <laughs> I saw that, Dewey. You walked right into the wall. Okay, let's go where we're supposed to go then. <laughs> it's so hot in my room. I have to close all the doors, cut off all, all the circulation. Oh. Excuse me, Dewey. Oh yeah, I explored everything in there. Excuse me again, Dewey. Sorry, but I need to orient myself. What's the difference between Walateru and Hohoenderu? I think I made that second word up. But I was trying to go for an actual word. There is an old notebook. Seems to be about post-mortem photography. Post-mortem photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. The post-mortem pho photographs still, that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their Western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here in the Mount Hikami region especially seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos were the work of a scientist named Kunihiko Aso, the asshole that never gets any of his stuff done and leaves problems for the rest of us to deal with. 
having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems he was the first, or he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul, which is where the camera obscura comes from, because it's literally capturing the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe that he had some degree of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call camera lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find these words, those words have a certain resonance. Glitched. What? waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from the lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Hikami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hikami sect taught that upon dying, people return to the water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to water upon death rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at the scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are bound, are both connected to water. There's a cassette. Are you having a heart attack, Dewey? Are you okay? Are you dying? Do I need to call the doctor? Oh, okay, you're okay. Ah, shit. I have the wrong button. Okay, let me find that, uh, that, uh, oh, I didn't find number two. Okay. And... That's it. Ah, she is. I pressed the wrong button. Wait, there was number two. Where's number one? I pressed the wrong button. I didn't want to listen to it again. Uh, okay. What? There was a three? Check what? Uh, okay. This one's near a such as human sacrifice boxes in the nether world. I don't know 
know why I continuously use my good film to take crappy pictures. But the instant I switch it over, they're gonna be like, nah. Oh, that door's on the other side. No, I will not read that one first. I will read this one first. Nope. But uh, no. Peek up. Oh, there it is. Number two. I saw the silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way up, her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seems somehow unnatural. I've been told that there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water? Would that then imply they are trapped within the mist? Well, then who knows? No, we are missing a document, do we move? No dust? It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them into the water while still alive. It, is, it was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to water themselves. In doing so, it was believed that subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would inter, inter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to somehow said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice must be related. But what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or the hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. Another cassette. Yes. I'm gonna listen to this. Ah, shit. Cassette. Once I figure out how to press the right buttons. What? Let me go through them all again. It's probably right above the other. Why press the wrong button again? But why? Can I not open this door now? Okay, fine. You need to fix your door. Dude. Oh. This room. Oh, look, film. Then, film, this. Then, I want the film. Pick it up. Thank you. I'll take it. Isn't this... This head fell off and I didn't even see it fall off. 
Yes, we shall look. Because why the fuck not? Make it as low as possible. My head hurts. I'm so scared that my head hurts. Why? Why would you do this? He's glowing? Hi. What the? <laughs> the ghost left a notebook behind when it disappeared. It looks like a notebook of the folklorist. Could that ghost just now have been... And you're not totally irreparably like damaged, psychologically damaged from that? Mount Hikami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mountain of death where only those prepared to die may enter and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through a shrine grove at the foot of the mountain where shrine maidens kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today, the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kuniko Aso. After taking his postmortem photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountains to photograph the maidens. I have heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see those these photos of the shrine maidens taken with the special camera, I'm certain I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hikami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place This place too? I truly wish I could. Kuniko Asal. Was Dr. Asal somehow involved in this? Mist is pouring into the room. This is not- that's not a good sign. I should get out of here. Yeah, probably should, Ben. Yeah, probably should. But, uh, what gave you that idea? I still can't open the other door? Can I just, like, ram it? Ugh! Fine. I'll take the long way around. I don't remember how to get there, though. Uh, is that the door? Yes, it is a door. You beautiful door, you. No rush or anything, then. Everything's closed. Every, all the... What? Ugh. Ooh, you just fucking teleported. Ah, there's a box! Why is there a box? Why is there a box? You got shoved in the box. Why, why are we staring at him? Can we run away? I really don't want to fight him! How? I thought. Then. 
I'm dying. Yes. It's okay. I I got I got no. I got another mirror. Oh shit, what the Do we move? Oh shit, I forgot. Yes! Ugh. Touch him! Yeah. Wait, is this the person who filmed it earlier? No, this is the folklorist. Oh. There's a note lying where the ghost was. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it had become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to the mansion that only the invited could find? It is different from the other postmortem photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It is said, er, it has a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. They were words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. There's a cassette. Was that one of Keiji Watarai's memories? I have to get out of here. But first, let's take some meds. Because why not? And, you know... There's always a good reason to take meds. You should always take meds. Especially meds that you find on a mountain. Oh shit, I did it again. I thought maybe I would learn to... Uh, Dewey, how do I get out? Now nah, I'm tripping wet too. Dewey, this is not good. Where are you, Dewey? I don't know, I'm just heading... Oh, I can't get out yet. Do I have to take a picture of the box? Must I take a... Into your room. 
Yeah, let's do this weird little dance and I just back out. Okay? Dude, this is a small ass area. <laughs> Dewey, why are you even in that room? Bad! from it. That was, I was chipped. I was chipped hardcore. Did you guys see that? I was... Ah! Open the door for you. And now you're gonna be behind me. Thanks, Dewey. Thanks. Oh my god, what? Please don't look at me. Something, but I was too scared to hear what she said. Oh, I should probably cut the episode here. <laughs> it's getting a bit long, so thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!